of the Father, and then of the Son, and then of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today on this Feast of the Presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Temple, for this morning I want to focus not so much on the wonderful uh, truth of our Lord being presented in the Temple, which is there, we'll talk about that tonight, but I want to talk about the two figures of Simeon and Anna, and if it helps, the feast we celebrate today is depicted in the right panel, and you can see, not unlike this morning Mass, there's a, a larger crowd, you have Simeon, the old man, Anna, the old woman, holding the baby Jesus, Mary giving Jesus to Simeon, Joseph in the back, and then a servant girl holding two birds, a symbol of their poverty because they were unable to offer the, the prescribed uh, sacrifice of a lamb, but the Lamb of God is being held by Simeon, so the law is being fulfilled in its wholeness. All sorts of wonderful, extraordinary things are going on in this, in this painting. But what's remarkable about Simeon and Anna is these are the first two individuals in the Gospels that understood that this child was the Son of God that had not been told by an angel. Everyone else in the Gospels, when they heard about Jesus, they heard about Jesus because an angel told them. An angel came to Mary, an angel came to Joseph, an angel came to the shepherds in the fields. But Simeon and Anna understood that this was the light to enlighten the nations. This was the consolation of Israel. And what's remarkable is they knew that they would find the answer to their longing, to their prayer, by coming to the temple. Simeon was drawn to the temple, and there he saw the child Jesus. Anna, the old woman, never left, and her eyes were opened, and she saw the ch child Jesus. It's a message to us that when we are looking for the presence of God, when we are looking for the hope that we know is promised to us, when we are desiring that peace which passes all understanding, yes, the power of God is everywhere, but that power of God is promised to be revealed in prayer, in sacrifice, and in the temple. And then one of my favorite details is that the floor of the temple, the beautiful red and green and gold tile, is the exact same pattern and colors that we have here, telling us that the truth that was given to Anna and to Simeon is given to us all these thousands of years later, and that you and I are Simeon's and Anna's as well. Today, as we give thanks for the birth of Kendall and for Brittany and your safe delivery, you are also presenting this child in the temple, walking in this place, giving thanks for Almighty God and trusting that the Lord will also show you and all of us something far greater than we could ever imagine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. As she kneels, if you will all stand. For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God of his goodness to give you safe deliverance, and to preserve you in the great danger of childbirth, you shall therefore give hearty thanks unto God and say, My delight is in the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my prayer, because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. I found trouble and heaviness, then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, Yea, our God is merciful. What reward shall I give unto the Lord for all the benefits that he hath done unto me? I will receive the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows now in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, even in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Lord, save this woman, thy servant, who putteth her trust in thee. Be thou to her a strong tower from the face of her enemy. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, we give thee humble thanks for that thou hast been graciously pleased to preserve through the great pain and peril of childbirth this woman, thy servant, who desireth now to offer her praises and thanksgivings unto thee. Grant, we beseech thee, most merciful Father, that she, through thy help, may faithfully live according to thy will in this life, and also may be partaker of everlasting glory in the life to come, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, that the child of this thy servant may daily increase in wisdom and stature, and grow in thy love and service, till she come to thy eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. 